So it is 1040 right now, and we had a 10 a.m. flight, which we missed uh, for no good reason other than the people at the airport ate us. Now while she went to Chicago that night, she faced the war. That's pretty cool. Spectacular. We, <laughs> so we got here a little bit, just a little bit late, and they didn't want to let us on the plane. And then when... They didn't even want to let us in the they, line. They, they wouldn't... Even, Alex went up and talked to the Sky Cab, and he just turned he around and walked turned away. and walked away from me. Just like... That was good times. And, uh, <laughs> what else? Oh, then I was like, hey, excuse me, ma'am, we're going to miss our flight. And she was like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It was pretty good. And so then we sat in line. This is the best part. So we sat in line. We're waiting, 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 waiting. Very long, very slow process. And, and we're empathetic to people who because, have to catch their right. flight. We've already missed our flight at this point. We realize it's like 9.30. We're not getting our flight. There's no way it's happening. So I happen to know there's a 1 o'clock, like 1.15 flight. And we're going to get on that. So this girl runs up in front of us. We're at the front of the line. We finally got in front of the line. She runs up and is like, Oh my God, my flight's boarding right now. Can I cut ahead of you? And we're like, please, you know, go ahead, go ahead. Because we, we have nothing to do. We have nothing to do. We're just being nice. And so she goes up, and <laughs> the ticket agent like runs back. Did you let her up there? Like, like yelling at us. Yeah. Like, we're like we're, yes, yes, we did. Okay, so he, what you're supposed to do is, if someone asks you that you're at the front of the line and they can cut, you say no. Say no. And then she's like, "Do you want to go to the back of the line? Do you want to go to the back of the line and wait for all the Because we're we're in and kindergarten, we're like, you know. We we we're like, no, we don't want to go to the back of the line. She's like, "Come on, let's go." It was ridiculous. And then she like, continued yelling. Like, my hand. And yeah. like... She continued yelling at us all the way up to the... All the way up to the ticket booth. And then what happened to the, the security? I dropped my... I dropped my phone and it, like, shattered into a million <laughs> shattered pieces. shattered into a million pieces. And the... And he so he fell, goes around to retrieve yeah, it. Yeah, it fell on the other side of the... And guy, the conveyor belt thing. Guy... Security guy number 500 at this and seven. point. And seven. Yeah. He he doesn't move, and there's like all these TSA people standing there looking at my broken phone, like, <laughs> <laughs> look at this guy, <laughs> look at this guy with this the guy. phone, what a, what a jerk. So I walk around and get it, and he's like, "Sir, get get going around the other side." You can't even see that. Move. After that, know what my hands doing? We is. we got we got so distraught that we uh, bought three hundred. We purchased. We're about to watch it, so excuse us. <laughs> So we just parked and we made a new friend. Our friend is Cedric, the parking meter. What's going on? What's going on? It's so cold here that our car got frozen. Oh god! And it's slippery. Trust me, I got one leg. You need tools to uh, to get the ice. Off. There's so much ice. Can you please? Can you get just a piece of the ice look, and hold that up? Look. That's so much ice. That's effing S up. So another fun thing that happens when you get this frozen is there's little um, icicles hanging off of your door. You can't really see that, but I'm going to light that up for you. Uh, see that? It's so beautiful. It stabs you in the hand when you try to open the door. It's not right. That's, that's wrong, in fact. Look at how much snow there is on our wheel. This is from one day. Look at this. Look at, look at this ice! Hey, say hi through the window. Okay, ready? Here I am, normal. Hello, hello. <laughs> there's like a... There's a glacier. Like a glacier that it's, it's called calving, and it happens on our car. It took at least 10 scrapes just to get like a little piece like that. Just... Scrape it all up. I actually feel kind of bad. Like, this is like not as bad as it was before. Yeah. We don't need the scraper really. We could have just used our heat vision. What do you mean you feel bad about that though? This is... Whoa, whoa, I'm, sta I'm right here. You're standing here. Oh, sorry. But like, look at this. This is not right for a car. Now I should point out at this time that we actually did get written up in the Northern Illinois University school paper for being so incredibly unprepared and so California.
But it was like the worst ice storm in 20 years, so you know, not so bad. As we were clearing the ice off the car, the discussion turned to the only thing it really could. Ice to meet you. Chill. So pretty much Batman and Robin is the greatest movie of all time. The so, greatest movie because it just doesn't give a shit. Toby likes to curse when we're doing tour diaries. The greatest movie because it just doesn't give a crap. There we go. That's much better. Doesn't give a poop. It gets In its defense, across. Toby put it very well. He said, um, it doesn't know what it's doing wrong. It's just horrible. Joel Schumacher, why? I've been thinking about it though. Does it not know? that it's, it's doing something wrong, or does it just not care? You never know with Hollywood these days.